Car tester Matis Kura says Volvos have always had a reputation for being safe cars, last but not least because of the tough steel used to make them. But today, he adds, safety means more than a solid car with good crash test results. It's all about electronics that are supposed to prevent accidents now. Volvo's a leader here, and Mata says he's flown to Gothenburg, Sweden to find out more firsthand. Volvo's new road edge and barrier detection system with steer assist recognizes possible dangers and automatically detects unintentional lane deviations, meaning the driver is always supported by automatic steering impulses. What looks like a technical gimmick at first glance should later help traffic slow more smoothly all by itself. Parking is the first place Volvo is trying to make its autos autonomous. A driver can use a smartphone to tell the car to find a parking space on its own aided by sensors and GPS. If it comes across other vehicles, obstacles, or pedestrians, the car stops and waits until its path is clear. It seems to work like a charm, but Volvo says it will take some time before it's ready for series production. I would say that somewhere around five to ten years from now, we can see cars parking autonomously in, in a parking lot. But there are, of course, also other issues that need to be, to be discussed and resolved regarding legal aspects and, and liability issues. And, and so there are many pieces of the puzzle of autonomous parking that need to be solved in order to, to make this into an end product. Once the car has found its own parking space and parked, it turns off its engine. Connected to a smartphone, the car can even find its way back to you. The city safety system detects large animals, such as moose, for example. In critical situations, the car will stop itself. Volvo already brought pedestrian protection a big step forward a few years ago with the city safety system. It has its own eyes with which to determine whether someone is currently crossing the road and brakes automatically. And the new system is designed to work at night as well. And to the dummy's relief, it works. The camera has a range of exposure settings so that even in the dark, it can detect an object in front of the car and react accordingly. Sounds and LEDs are used to alert drivers. If they fail to take action, the vehicle will. Matas remembers his dad's car having cruise control when he was a boy. All the driver had to do was steer and brake. Back then, he wondered how great it would be if the car could also do the braking automatically. That's nothing special these days. It's called adaptive cruise control. It modifies your speed to the car in front. All that's left to do is the steering. Until now, Volvo is looking at a future where you do no steering at all. Adaptive cruise control with steer assist. Why did the idea only occur to them now? Well, we've been dreaming about self-driving cars for a long time. But now the sensor technology, the radars, the camera is finally so mature that we actually can steer the car automatically. But Matas wants to know how it works. Well, the, the radar and the camera, they detect the car in front. So they know the distance to the car in front and they know the angle to the car in front. And this car is controlled in such a way that it tries to follow the, tra the track of the car in front. Um, right now I can release the steering wheel, but when we put this in a production vehicle in a new XC90 next year, then it's required for the driver to keep the hand on the steering wheel to make sure that the driver is supervising the system. Mata says plenty of developments on the horizon will make driving even easier and safer. 
Car-to-car -car communication, as the name suggests, enables vehicles to exchange data in order to improve road safety. The system uses acoustic signals and icon alerts to warn the driver an approaching emergency vehicle, for example. It can also alert the driver to a breakdown out of sight around the corner. In situations where a brief distraction can be critical in terms of driver response times, the system is a potential lifesaver. So what has Matas found out today? The car of the future also brakes automatically in the dark and to avoid animals. It can navigate its own way through traffic and prevents me from coming off the road. It can park on its own and talk to its fellow cars. That means smoother traffic flow and fewer accidents. Some of the ideas are still pipe dreams and will need another 5, 10 or 15 years to be standard features. But the signs are clear. There's plenty of road ahead when it comes to safety technology and comfort. Die Reise in puncto Sicherheitstechnik und Komforttechnik im Auto lange noch nicht vorbei ist.